Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Teacher Cell Mabuhay. So today, I'm going to discuss the parts and functions of the computerized sewing machine. Okay, so we're going to start with the front part of the computerized sewing machine. Okay, so first is the bobbin winder. So this is the bobbin winder. It is used to wind thread in the bobbin. Okay, the next one is the upper tension control dial. So this one is used to control the tension of the upper thread. So there are also numbers here. Okay, and uh, it also regulates the length of the stitches. Then, next one is the bobbin winding thread guide tension disc. So, it's, it has a small disc here which you're going to pass through the thread from the spool pin. The next one is the thread take-up lever. The thread take-up lever is here. You can see the up and down motion there inside. Okay. So, it is being covered on this part. Okay, so the thread take-up lever is used to control the delivery of the thread from the spool. Then, this one is the flat bed. Okay, flat bed attachment with accessory compartment. So, you can remove this one. Okay, and then... It's a compartment wherein you're going to place small items of your accessories here. Okay? So you just slide it. The next one is the operation button. So the operation button here is uh, that you're going to press this one when you're going to start uh, operating the sewing machine. Okay? So it's either... Uh, you use the pedal or this button here. So, you, if you're going to start, press it. And if you're going to stop the motion of the machine, you're going to press it again. Then, the next one is the spool pin. So, it's located here. Okay? So, the spool pin is where you're going to place the spool of thread. Okay? And this one is the cup. No? So, that the spool pin is uh, will not be removed there okay then we proceed on the other side of the machine so we have here the hand wheel the hand wheel is used to manually raise and lower the needle so if i'm going to turn it okay the needle is being lowered and then by turning again the needle is being raised and the next one is the air vent. This one is the air vent. So the air vent allows the air surrounding, surrounding the motor to circulate. Okay? Then the next one is the main power or switch of the machine. So this one here. So you just put it, uh, press this one to put it on and then press that one to put it off. No? So this is the switch button. Okay, and we have here the jack or the socket connector. We're going to insert this one. Okay, so if you're going to plug in the machine, just insert this, this one. Okay, and then you're going to plug this one on the outlet. Okay, moving on, so we have here the foot controller or what we call the pedal. So this one is used to control the sewing speed and when you're going to start and stop uh, the motion of, of the sewing machine. Okay, and this one is the jack or the socket wherein you're going to place it here so that you can... Uh, press the foot pedal or the foot controller okay then the next one is the feed dog position lever 
Okay, the fiddle position lever is found here. So you can, if this one is pushed on the right side, okay, the fiddle is being raised. Then if you're going to push it on the left side, then the feed dog is in lower position. So if this one is placed here, the feed dog is in lower position, the fabric will not move. Okay? So see to it that this one is being placed here. Okay? So you can feel the feed dog here on uh, under the presser foot. Next one is the thread guide. So this thread guide is a guide when you're going to wind the bobbin. Okay? And this one is the thread guide cover. Okay? And uh, uh, next is the handle. So the handle is used when you're going to carry this portable sewing machine. It's where you're going to place your hand to carry the portable sewing machine. Okay, moving on, the next part. So we have here uh, the front part now of the computerized sewing machine. So this one is what we call the sewing speed controller. So this one, you will just slide this if you're going to increase the speed, or the, to lower the speed of the machine. So one, we have one bar there, two bars, three bars. So as you move this one, okay, selecting the speed, okay, it, the speed increases, okay? Then the next one is the needle position button. So as you can see the picture there of a needle. So you just press this part, okay, to raise or lower the needle. Okay, then this one is what we call the reverse button. Okay, so the reverse button is used when you're going to reverse stitches. Okay, and when you're going to make bar top stitches. So reverse when you're going to lock your stitch, when you start and when you end your stitches. Okay, so in the industrial machine, we call this one, it's found here, that is what we call the uh, reverse lever. Okay, and again, this one is the uh, operation button, no? when you're going to start uh, running the sewing machine and when you're going to stop it. So just press this part here. Now, let's proceed here on the operation panel of the sewing machine. So as you can see, this type, this model of this computerized machine has 100 built-in stitches, okay? So you're going, you can press this one if you want to use these stitches here, okay? So these stitches can produce different kinds of embroidery stitches here and this one the upper part are the zigzag stitches and if you want to make buttonhole okay you can use select you can select these stitches here then for this uh, for if you want to embroider names okay, in your project you can use you just select the letters here Okay, numbers also okay so you will press this one here this button here if you want to use this one okay the next one is this led this LCD rather okay so this one is the LCD liquid okay or display and uh, it has numbers here, okay, for the presser foot, for the type to be used, the stitch length, okay, and the width of the stitches. So it's being displayed here, okay. Then this one, next one is the stitch selector selection keys, okay, this one, the stitch selection keys. So you can... 
uh, adjust the stitches you can um, increase so the plus sign and you can decrease the minus sign next one is the stitch with adjustment keys okay so the stitch with adjustment keys is here okay so you can uh, um, increase also using the plus sign and decrease using the minus sign okay so this one is for the length okay adjustment keys okay so we have here the thread guide okay lever okay so this one is used in uh, as a guide in threading your needle the next one is the button hole lever this part here so if you're going to make button holes okay you just push down this lever okay and then after using it then you're going to re return it there the next one is the presser foot holder so this part here this is the whole presser foot holder okay now this holder is being fastened with a presser foot screw here so this one is the presser foot screw so it is used so you need to tighten when you're going to uh, place or remove this part here the presser foot okay you need to tighten it well Okay, so you need to loosen and tighten this screw to remove the pressure foot. Then, next one is the, this part here is the pressure foot. Okay, that is the pressure foot. So the pressure foot holds the fabric, okay, before you're going to sew or while sewing. Or uh, the foot applies pressure constantly consistently on the fabric as you uh, as the sewing takes place okay so we have here the needle clamp okay so use the needle clamp screw to hold the needle needle in place and this one is the needle screw okay so you're going to loosen and tight, loosen this one if you're going to remove the needle then after replacing it you're going to tighten the screw okay so this is the machine needle and the next one is the needle plate okay this one is the needle plate okay so there are screws there you can uh, unscrew this one to give access to the inner part of this machine Okay, under the presser foot, we have here the feed dog. Okay, the feed dog feeds the fabric in the sewing in the sewing direction, or in other words, it moves the fabric while you are sewing. Okay, then the next one is the um, needle plate cover release. So this one is the needle cover. Uh, needle plate cover release so if you're going to uh, open this needle plate the whole part of this is the needle plate this one here okay and if you're going to open this you just release this one this plate here okay press it there there okay and you then remove this part here so that you can see what is inside that part okay if you're going to return okay just press it like that okay then the next one is the bobbin cover so this one is the bobbin cover so if you want to um, place the bobbin inside the bobbin shuttle okay you're going to uh, slide this plate there slide this part here okay slide okay and then it was already uh, open then remove this one here okay so uh, if you're going to remove the bobbin just remove it so 
the bobbin case is being built in inside the machine okay so it has a built-in bobbin case so you just place the bobbin okay inside and then there and use this part here to cut the excess thread there okay and then return the bobbin over there okay see to it that it's, it, it is properly uh, inserted or fastened okay then we have here the thread cutter on the other side okay if you're going to cut the thread you may use this part here okay after sewing so those are the parts and functions of the computerized sewing machine if you find my video interesting please like and subscribe sewing is my life have fun